We're here at the company Groeibalans. This is a consultancy company in Holland and they are helping growers of vegetables and trees to have better crops. Croesis has hired this company because we wanted them as an independent company to have investigate the uh, production of vegetables with less water and using mycorrhizae to replace fertilizers. And today we're going to see the conclusions and we're going to make the recommendations. When you visit our website croasis.com, you can find all the information about these trials. But here we give you the main conclusions. The best group to do tests with is the tomatoes. And the results of those tomatoes groups are very interesting. We have had a test without mycorrhizae, three tests with mycorrhizae, and one test with drip irrigation. Of course, when you use the water, you have the highest crop. So we have put the crop of drip irrigation on 100%. The other groups we have given 85% less water. So with the water box, we have only used 15% of the normal water use. Now here's the interesting thing about the crop. The crop without mycorrhizae with the water box has given 58% compared to the drip irrigation. Then we have put three types of mycorrhizae. One mycorrhizae has given 67% of crop compared to the drip irrigation. One mycorrhizae has given 82% and one mycorrhizae has given 84%. Which means that it is very clear that you can use mycorrhizae to replace fertilizers and have good results with them. The water box is a very good solution when you don't have enough water or the water is too expensive or too dirty to use dripping systems. And when you compare the water box with the dripping systems, we have uh, less production uh, of... Um, we can get up to 80% more or less with a combination of mycorrhiza and a good system and a good treatment of the plant, then you can then you can get that production with 85% less water. So when you don't uh, have enough water in the area and it's very dry, you can use the water box to grow vegetables with a good production. In the experiments of last year, we have tried to use less water and we have tried to replace fertilizers through mycorrhizae. We can conclude the following. You can use less water, up to 85%, and you can still have a crop at up to 80%. The other thing that we've concluded is that, yes, you can replace fertilizers through mycorrhizae, but not every mycorrhizae is a good mycorrhizae. Mycorrhizae is another word for fungus, and you know that, for instance, botrytis is a bad fungus, which means that when you use mycorrhizae, you first have to do trials in order to find whether the mycorrhizae that you want to apply is a good one for your crop. Now what we found is that there's a difference of over 25% in production between one mycorrhizae and another. So Groasis will do more investigations, more experiments, and in the coming years we will offer you mycorrhizae that will give those good results and that can help you to have good crops as a replacement for fertilizers. Thank you very much and please follow our experiments and videos in the coming years.